All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless me here talking about real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you, just like me. So I'm going to talk about Sting, okay? I don't talk about Sting too often. Um, I like Sting. I like his music, okay? As a person, you know, he exudes that pompous kind of arrogant thing, and uh, he's maybe unapproachable. I don't know. I would imagine if uh, I were in this room with Sting, uh, he would feel that I was way beneath him and he would have to leave immediately. So um, before I talk about Sting, bye Sting. Have a great day. Sorry, we were hanging out. Um, Here is a band from Northern Ireland, not too far from where Sting uh, was hanging out for most of his life. Uh, Banger Northern Ireland. So you've got some hearty souls here. The band Rend Collective. I saw them a couple nights ago. Holy crap, Batman, Robin, the Joker, the Riddler, Catwoman, whoever else was on the cast of uh, uh, Batman. Um, these guys are just so good. Uh, their message is phenomenal. Um, this album is called uh, Whosoever, which is a portion of a very famous Bible passage. Um, if you like foot stomping, uh, up tempo, Irish rock, folk rock with a great message, this is it. And you know what? There isn't a lot of music like this. So when you hear it done this well, and yes, there are bands like Clannad and U2 and the Chieftains. I think of those sorts of things when I think of this, but this has its own vibe and one of my patrons said to me, hey, that was a really good video on that band. And I said, yeah, it was a really good concert. Really just moved me spiritually to be at that concert. So it was a good time. And it's family-friendly entertainment as well. Um, they had confetti at the end. I'm a big fan of confetti. Um, so yeah, Rend Collective. Now, moving on to Sting. Why am I? People are like, why are you talking about Sting? Well, Sting has revealed he's doing the Sting 3.0 tour. He's rolling in his 3.0, embarking on a North American journey this autumn with a three piece lineup, a new three piece lineup. So he's rolling in the 3.0. The lineup, by the way, does not include Vanilla Ice. I just want to make that clear because of the reference to the Mustang. Uh, that apparently is still in Vanilla Ice's garage. Um, no, why am I even covering this? Because Sting, hello, buddy. Um, you're going out on tour with a three-piece band. So Andy Summers was doing what? What Was he busy? Was Stuart Copeland all tied up for this um, miniature tour you're going to do? Now, I understand that Sting wants to perform all of his solo material, and maybe a few police songs. But wouldn't a police reunion at this stage in everybody's life be a good idea? Maybe one more time. I know they did it once. And the other two guys, they were pretty happy about it. Andy Summers did a whole docu-video thingy about it. And, and he was like, yeah, um, it was great, except that, you know, Sting doesn't like us. <laughs> I, I don't know. You know, there are certain bands that just can't get things together. CCR, for instance, is another one where you're like, guys, OK, um, everybody's really old. And I know one of uh, the original CCR guys is gone, but you could do a CCR reunion and probably sell out some very large venues. Uh, but then you'd have contracts to sign and that would be probably very, um, I don't know, just stressful for everybody involved. Anyway, if you're interested in seeing Sting in his new 3.0, three-piece lineup, starting on September 17th in Detroit and concluding on November 13th in Los Angeles, so you've literally got two months, the band aims to present a series of performances covering Sting's entire career during several evenings at smaller venues across North America. This includes a special two-night performance at the uh, Masonic in San Francisco 
on November 6th and 7th, joining the former frontman of the police. Oh, they finally mentioned it. He was in the police. Remember that band, the police? Yeah, there they are. Um, guitarist Dominic Miller and drummer Chris Moss. Okay, tickets will be available to the general public starting Friday. And my guess is tickets will be very, very expensive for this. Uh, the Sting 3.0 tour comes after a European tour scheduled from May to August. In addition, Sting's 2024 schedule uh, features several stadium dates alongside Billy Joel. So you got Billy Joel and Sting. They have a lot in common, right? Eh, with uh, inaugural, with the inaugural performance having taken place last month in Tampa. So apparently they've already done one of these performances, Sting and Billy Joel. Sting looking pretty good for his age. I know he's in his 70s now, but uh, he's always held up well. Uh, father time has been kind, kind of, to Sting, but not to the police. I just, it's like, I would, look, um, I did go to the concert, Foxborough Stadium, 1984. It was like Flock of Seagulls, The Fix, and The Police. It was like the biggest concert in my lifetime that I missed. And pretty much everybody who I knew went to that show. And to this day, I've always kind of kicked myself for not going to see the police with the fix and flock of seagulls. But um, you know what? I guess I'm never going to see those three bands <laughs> together. Um, and apparently the police aren't going to be back together anytime soon. But there's a three-piece lineup that's supporting Sting. I just think it's hysterical when I read, hey, he's got a three-piece band. Call the other guys. I mean, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think people would show up to see the police. Do all the police material too. The sting stuff is okay, but it's very melodramatic. The police stuff was, was more energetic and kind of quirky, a little bit of reggae stuff going on there. Anyway, um, just going off on multiple tangents. This is quality video programming for you. Um, Rend Collective. Uh, this is a very consistent, very humble uh, band um, over their 10-year career now. They have put out some uh, just excellent material, and um, it's inspirational. Uh, it'll, it'll make you think, and uh, it prioritizes uh, one particular person who is Jesus Christ. I just want to make that clear. And so... Again, it's Christian music, but it's certainly not cookie cutter Christian music. It's just really good stuff. So check out Rend Collective, and uh, you're just going to have to keep waiting for the police to do uh, one last amazing tour, which probably will never happen.